Traders in Boston right now demanding justice in the death of George Floyd. The unarmed black man died after an officer in Minneapolis kneeled on his neck for several minutes. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Paula Eben in for Lisa Hughes. That officer is now facing charges. WBZ's Nick Emmons is live in the South End where that protest is underway right now. Nick? You know, here locally, a peaceful protest. I just want to step out of the way and give you an idea of how many people are here. Easily a few hundred people showed up here at Peters Park in the south, in the south end to hear from various speakers. Uh, this is all part of a group that organized this. It's called Mass Action Against Police Brutality. It formed a few years ago, right around the same time, several more controversial cases were, in, uh, were going on around the country. We saw riots back then as well. We've been seeing the riots recently across the country, protests across the country. Uh, after the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, the news today about that officer who was involved being arrested, the organizers spoke with me earlier today saying that it is a step in the right direction, but more needs to be done. Here's some sound from the beginning of today's protest. Let's le yell out a, a, a collective celebration for the fact that the first police officer was arrested and charged today, a few hours ago. That's a direct result of our protests around the country. And the organizers say that these protests are, these protesters say that uh, it's all about applying pressure on people to hold officers and to hold others accountable for their actions. They're calling for change. Again, this is peaceful. And they say that they want it to remain this way because when things start getting out of hand, that just takes away from the message and the focus then turns to the violence and the destruction that would be going on if things were to take a, a turn. But obviously, it is peaceful now. That is what they want. Everyone listening, getting along. Uh, it's worth saying as well that uh, social distancing very hard to do when you have this many people in such a small area. The organizers say they wanted people to do that. Most people are wearing masks. That's the latest now from the South, and I'm Nick Hammonds, WBZ News. Nick, thanks.